What's up guys uh welcome back this is your boy Gia Adams link how you guys doing welcome to another crazy video good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from i hope you guys are very much doing okay so we have a lot to discuss guys and uh firstly we're going to check out tinubu's daughter tinubu's daughter who apparently live in new york city united states of america in a penthouse worth 2.4 million us dollars apparently allegedly it's not a fact so according to the internet and uh, all the buzz that is going around this girl this small or muggy this fine pretty lady remy tunubu's daughter tunubu's daughter the president-elect daughter lives in united states of america in new york city in a penthouse worth 2.4 million us dollars not just like that guys that is not what is making balls on the internet currently apparently this girl she's a lesbian she's a lesbian i am not saying anything wrong with anybody being a lesbian I am not saying that. But they should check Nigeria culture. In fact, I shouldn't even be the one to say it. Do many Nigerians support LGBTQ community or not? Now, our president-elect daughter. Of course, we shouldn't use, uh, use his daughter to judge him. It's just his daughter. And his daughter have her own life to live. And she even revealed a chat between herself and her mom. Maybe her mom wrote her and said, God have mercy. It, it is well in Jesus' name. Then she laughed. Ah, ha, ha. Love you, mom. Then she also said, this, this to the piercing of my African parents trend. Just kidding. Mom loves me. But she is most definitely be praying for me extra this sunday that is a handle oyeda that's a handle and uh, apparently see i don't even know if she's a girl or she's a man honestly i do not know i cannot ascertain but they say tunubu's daughter i don't know if she's actually tunubu's daughter or please <laughs> don't say adam Sling said I don't know if she's actually Tunubu's daughter, but apparently what is going all around on social media, the pictures of this lady are trendy and uh, they are saying she's Tunubu's daughter. She has her own life to live. I don't, she has never interfered. I don't think she has ever interfered when it comes to Nigeria uh, situations and all the rest. But apparently, most definitely, she's enjoying the money though. She's enjoying the money, but what do you expect her to do? Uh, do, do? Do you want her to reject the money? She's definitely enjoying the money. Someone said, since we are getting dirty and you want to throw stone from glass house, this is Bola Hamen Tunubu gay trans, gay trans right activist, uh, activist daughter, Abibat Tunubu. She also said, please, read the chain fully. Black bigotry is also a problem. We shouldn't be dividing ourselves or neglecting those within our community. Trans life matter and black trans life are sadly treated as the most invincible. Well, that is their pictures together. Uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu and Remy Tunubu are well when she graduated. And now she is full blown activist of trans. Like I've said before, she has her own right. She has her own right. She has her own right. And she is about 32 years old. So she has her own right to follow the path she wants to follow. She has her own right. She's a human being. So I'm not going to judge. And uh, if you want to judge, please kindly let me know exactly how you feel about 
have. So with that said, let's jump past and uh, look at other really, really attractive things. We're still going to talk about uh, Kemio Lulo, yo, who recently blasted the hell out of Peter Obi. But firstly, where is Davido now? Davido promised us that he's going to see us in March. March don't reach. March go soon pass. Where is Davido? Where is Davido? Where is Davido? The recent video scene of Davido is him. I don't know if it's a hood or a new uh, video. Is him preaching? <laughs> So we are still waiting for him to come out and uh he's been booked for many shows now. Many, many shows are booking David O. Many. The recent one was uh Promised Land 2023. I think it will be hosted, I don't know where. I'm gonna check it out later. I don't know where where and when. So David Doe should come out now. We have missed David Doe dearly. I know we like you. The internet has been boring without my guy David Doe. So he needs to come out. We like to blast him and we also like to praise him. So that is exactly what internet is meant for. To blast and to praise. So David Doe, we are waiting for you. So me, we are talking about internet. Check out this video of a young girl who was on live doing inappropriate things and a mom caught a red handed let's listen to our excuses <laughs> Change your lifestyle, make you see man marry. <laughs> see how big, big a bomb. They should put for people's face. Abba, young girl with camera and phone. Young girl with fine camera. What are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life, young girl with camera? I think I'm about to drop a song now. Somebody to drop a song about young girls and camera. Somebody to drop a uh, drop an inspirational song about young girls and camera. Once you have a sweet camera phone, you are not satisfied just taking a very pious picture. No, 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 no. no. Uh -uh, I cannot have a camera phone and just take any uh, just if, uh, normal picture now. I have to be extra sexy about it. And I, I, I need to make money online. There are different ways girls make money online now through OnlyFans, through showing your bump on uh, something, uh, TikTok. And TikTok people will be paying you private chat. Young girl with crack camera, what are you doing? Young girl with good camera, what are you doing? Young girl with camera, what are you doing? Okay, I think that's enough. So check out this uh, video. This man gave this woman a lift. A lift, free and this woman ended up stealing from this man. I'm telling you, eh? Sir, I'm sorry. Hello, you asked the lift? 
I said let's go. Eh? Mm -hmm. You asked the money, I said I don't have. Yes, okay? I travel with you from there, I didn't talk with you. I'm sorry. Now I'm going out, you are taking my money. I'm sorry, sir. Give me back my money. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why did you take my money? Sorry, sir. Why did you take my money? Well, the guy tear the woman's lap though, just to remind her, say, next time person help you, do the double cross her again. Meanwhile, let's talk about Kemi Lulo, your who is currently blasting Peter Obi. <laughs> well, Kemi Lulo just said, Peter Obi and propaganda. Where, when we, where we are Nigerians, and crying will be, when I gave a Ziza one hundred k to start a cake bakery and another fifty to buy flour and sugar when she opened opened a year later, the mainstream media won't post the positive things I do. Instead, a poor loser. <laughs> Not just that, ever since, ever since uh, Peter Obi, of course, that uh, INEC, uh, that INEC result was announced and uh, Tinubu became the president elect, Kemilu lawyer has been trying so hard to discredit Peter Obi. Of course, she has every right to, after all. So many of you are also discrediting Tinubu as well. She also said, obedient, you can't drag Kemiolu lawyer. I am not your parents mate. Peter Obi has lost Tinubu, lost. Tinubu has won. We have a governor to form and no time to waste. Don't distract the president elect. Nigeria needs fixing immediately. Not roaming alike, not roaming around like sore losers. Okay, you know they are in court and they actually protest today in uh, in Lagos, Atiku. Well, I'm going to do live and we're going to talk about that. So make sure you join my live today, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.